Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and we are in the FA Cup quarterfinals against Liverpool, and we are starting off this game with conceding. Yay! That is something everyone is looking forward to, I guess. And yeah, that just happened. Sixth minute. We are already 1-0 behind Liverpool and I was thinking, holy crap, I'm going to get pounded in this game. Well, thank God, Yeshil with the first shot. Later on, Murphy with the pass to Yeshil. Yeshil with the pass to Murphy again. He takes the shot and the goalkeeper saves it. But trust me, guys, I would not give up. I am now on the left-hand side and I'm looking for the cross. I'm getting past my opponent. I'm crossing it in. And who is there? It is Yeshil with the first First goal in this game for Leighton Orient. It is 1-1 and he came from Liverpool. He is just shishing the shit out of them. He's asking them, who did you sell? Who did you sell? It was me. I just scored against you. Ishil again on the ball. Gets it from the defender. He's now through against the goalkeeper. 1-1 on -one, takes the shot and the goalkeeper deflects it. It is now time for the header of his life. It is... Savitzer with the header. Will he be able to score that one? I am so excited to see this. Take a look at this. The goalkeeper gets to it, but it goes inside of the net. It is the goal of his lifetime. It is now 2-1 for Leighton Orient. Could we hang on? Could we still win this game with the comeback of our life against Liverpool? They were on the attack now. I decided to do some changes. Odubajo and Traore are joining the game because I have a lot of stamina issues in this team. And by with the skill, he waits for it. He passes it to Traore. Traore now on the left-hand side, crosses it in to Yeshil. Will he be able to score? Yes, he is. Oh my god, 48th minute. Yeshil again shishing the whole stadium. He just scored two goals against his old teammates. And that was so satisfying for me. Now Moses with the cross to Storage. And my goalkeeper couldn't get to it. And I was getting really, really nervous. It was only the 60th minute when Traore took this free kick and it hits the post. That was so unlucky. And Liverpool started to attack i was so happy to see my defender save that one. Oh my god i was really i was just a nerve wreck i was just waiting to concede a goal i couldn't play a pass and now it is three against one more is the only one who could hold them off and he is able to do that in the 90th minute and it's over this game ends 3-2 for us we have won in the quarterfinals against Liverpool I cannot believe this and just for this please go ahead and leave a like guys that would mean so much to me because I was so happy at that moment for such a small team from the league one to win against Liverpool that is just a sensation and we are in third place looking to get into second place I decided to sim this game and thank God I did so because I have won it against Gillingham and this is the league table at the moment. We are in second place with 80 points. Sheffield United has lost and we are in the next game. I will just show you the one goal which we scored and we will go to the next thing in this career mode episode because I am not going to show you every single game. I am going to have a long episode today. As you can see, it is something around 12 minutes and I decided to go ahead and simulate some games because my team was just winning every single one of them and I was so excited to see the season finale, how the FA Cup would turn out so I just wanted to go through those games as fast as I could and the next opponent is going to be West Bromwich Albion and we are now in second place with 93 points, 86 is the point amount of Sheffield United which means we have a nice little cushion up to them and we will not lose the second place. It is FA Cup time again against West Bromwich Albion and I am looking forward to win this game. After winning against Liverpool I said to myself okay this should not be that hard to do because our team has been doing amazingly against big teams. When it was time to come around and score some goals they were able to do so but right Right now, Yeshil and a lot of others have taken shots and they were not able to score up until now. And Yeshil with a really nice skill right there. And Traore, 
How could you miss that? That was the goal for our team that was needed. Again, Bigirimana now against goalkeeper takes a shot and the goalkeeper saves it. I just couldn't score and I wasn't able to do anything else than just attack, attack, attack. And West Bromwich Albion didn't have one chance. Azura now with the pass to Martial. Really nice pass. Martial sadly takes a shot. It is still nil-nil in this game. Murphy now with the amazing pass to Martial. He's one-on-one -on -one against the goalkeeper. Takes a shot and that was one of the worst shots he could take. Again, Yeshil loses the ball. Jakob Sesenyon, Molombu and Anelka. Holy crap, I don't know what my goalkeeper was doing. 77th minute, the FA Cup is over for Leighton Orient. We could not score again and I was so pissed because I had so many chances and with just one attack, West Brom did win against us in the semi-finals. But guys, I'm really, really happy with the cup run we had with Leighton Orient. For a team from the League One, it is just amazing for them to get into the semi-finals and we are getting some money, 765,000. That is more than we had at the start of the season. That is just amazing. And I just decided to go ahead and sim through the last two games of this season and we have made it we just got into the championship hell yeah we are in second place with 96 points six points to Sheffield United they will have to fight in the playoffs but we are in the safety zone we will be playing in the football championship in the next season. I am really looking forward to it. I hope all my players will get above 70 by then and I am really looking forward to see which players we will get. As you can see, we are now taking a look at the top scorers. Baldock was the top scorer for Bristol City and Wolverhampton had a couple of uh, top scorers in this list as well. In the assist, the only player we had was Odubajo. Martial wasn't even in the top scorers list and Yeshil wasn't in it as well. And as you can see, the squad report just shows you how much this team has improved in this season. A lot of players have improved by three, by four, by five, and that is just amazing growth. And I'm just looking forward for the next season to come. I can't wait, and I will be showing you guys what happens in the start of the next season in this episode as well. So you will be seeing what happens at the start of the next season. We will be getting into the transfer time and you will be seeing how this team will look at the start of the next season. We have a lot of players who are on loan and you will see how that turns out. Uh, the, the board decided to review my objectives and I just overgrew that. I just got to second place and they wanted me to be in the mid table and that is just great. In our team Martial is the top scorer with 11 goals, 2 assists but he was injured a couple of times. Summit Yeshil is in second place and to be honest I really feel like he is the better striker at the moment and I will be starting him in the next season because I really felt like he was the best player in those very very important games. Urubajo had the most assists in our team. Normally you would think Marcos Lopez would be up there, but sadly he was injured a couple of times and he couldn't play. Sali Uchan, he played for Sheffield United, had 11 goals and 6 assists. I just wanted to show that to you guys because I have put him in that team because I really want to get him into our team next season. We sadly have to say goodbye to three players. It is eBay, Traore and Mveng. They are leaving the team because they were on loan. So this means we have a lot of work to do at the start of the next season. The first thing I want to get is a center attacking midfielder. Amazing season, says the board. And that is a great accomplishment for our team. We just exceeded their expectations. And that is just a good thing to have. They are going to be trusting in me in the next season. I believe in the next season the league objective will be that we should not get relegated and we are in the next season already. The season budget is 2.3 million. I hoped to get a little bit more but sadly that is the only thing we have at the moment. 
2.3 million and the domestic cup objective is to get in the round of 32 so the transfer market is around the corner and this is our team at the moment we have some great players Liam Moore has 69 overall a lot of players have 68 and I'm really looking forward to get them to 70 Samet Yeshil just grew to a 69 in the last season Martial got to a 68 and we have a lot of players with great growth in this team and I'm looking forward to see how it will turn out which player will be the most important player in the next season and I really want to get a center attacking midfielder right now I was going to inquire for Sali Uchan because I believed he wouldn't be that expensive wrong thought they wanted eight freaking million seriously I'm probably going to be able to get him when I'm going to get like first or second place and get to the BPL but I decided to go ahead and get a center attacking midfielder the one thing I was looking for was for star skills and pace Valentino Lazaro was possessing both of these abilities and he is a great talent I was really looking forward to get him into this team I tried my best and it worked out we could get Valentino Lazaro into this team he's worth 2.2 million and we are getting him for 1.3 and Shaquille Colthurst who always wanted to leave the team and let's see how good he is it was kind of a surprise package but we were so lucky he is 67 rated he is the same rating as Marcos Lopez and seems to be an amazing talent I'm looking forward to play him in the next season I hope you guys are content with this decision because Marcos Lopez has a lot of stamina issues and he's getting injured a lot so I had to get a center attack in midfielder as you can see we are in the championship right now and guys we are also in the transfer time tell me which backup striker and backup center defensive midfielder I could get thank you so much for the whole support throughout the season hope you guys enjoyed this please let's reach over 100 likes for a nice ending for this season thank you guys so much for the amazing support on this career mode series lovely lovely comments lovely like amount Thank you so much. Take care. Have a nice day.